Well, earlier today we made a video giving you a news update on the fact that Boris Johnson is now going through, officially going through the investigation in Parliament by the Privileges Committee, which is the British version of impeachment that they have in America. And uh, they're going to see if uh, he's going, he has actually lied to Parliament, misled Parliament or not. But we have the political editor of the channel, Peter Barnes, to explain to us what the committee is and what the actual process will be, and generally speaking, the consequences for Boris Johnson and the government. Peter Barnes, explain. Well, the consequences are, could be pretty grave, really. Um, according to some um, Boris Johnson insiders, this is a moment of what they've called maximum danger for the prime minister. You're right that this is kind of like the kind of the British version of impeachment. The Privileges, Privileges Committee, that's such a hard word to say, uh, is a very powerful committee within Westminster. Uh, and... We, everybody knew that this the Partygate story was going to be referred to them. It's not it's not a surprise that this has been that this is where we are. But uh, how it's how we've got here is quite interesting mm. because originally it's chaired by an MP called Chris Bryant. Yeah. Now I will admit I am no Chris Bryant fan. I call him Bandwagon Bryant. He, anything he can find to have a go at the Tories, he will jump on. Yeah. Uh, so and in his to give him a little bit of credit, he did actually resign as chair of this committee. But in the Labour Party's infinite wisdom, they decided to nominate Harriet Harman yeah. to replace him, a person who is equally as anti-Boris and anti-Conservative as Chris and has made very public statements on Twitter and in the media about how Boris Johnson should resign, how he's unfit to lead the country. So I, it is. It, they've made a complete mess of this, which has led to accusations of it being called a kangaroo court. So... Really, what 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 the meaning by this is that it's just a partisan attack. However, there is a problem with this line. The Conservatives actually have a four have a majority on this committee. <laughs> yeah. There are yeah. So there's four members of the Conservatives. There's one Labour and one SNP. No, two Labour. If you've got Harry Harman and uh, a member of the SNP. So you've got Yvonne Foragu, who's the MP for West Lancashire. She's my old MP actually. And Alan Dorans, who's the uh, who's the SNP guy. But well, let's be honest, he's just going to take regimented orders and just vote against Boris no matter what. So realistically, it's all down to these four conservatives. And yeah. looking at them, it's a guy called Andy Carter. He's MP for Warrington. The infamous Sir Bernard Jenkins, you know, yeah. party soul, big Brexiteer. At one point was a big Boris fan. Not anymore. Uh, Alberta, not anymore. Alberta Costa and a lady called uh, Laura Farris, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, interestingly, she resigned her position on the Privy Council to stay on this this committee to actually investigate Boris Johnson. So number 10 are very wary of these four people about where they actually stand uh, because they've made no public comments about the vote of confident, confidence. They've not really said whether Boris should go on. Not they've they've done what they're supposed to do as members of this committee compared to the Labour, the Labour representatives and the SNP guy that have just said, do you know what? He should be here. Yeah. So it's not really a kind of as fair as people really, as it really should be. It's going to be quite partisan. Yeah. It's going to be a very brutal, brutal committee hearing. Isn't it one thing that, really... um, just Go quickly, um, Downing Street, as I said, came out to say it's a kangaroo court, which you already pointed out, the, the flaws in that argument. Um, and I, I'm, mm. I'll let you finish, but uh, just afterwards, when you kind of finish the conclusion of the, the, the summary, uh, Liz Truss, as one of the people who's come out uh, to as as a cabinet member, mm -hmm. saying that no, no, it's not a kangaroo court, and she also basically hinted that Boris is on notice that you know I trust the pro yeah. the select committee to actually um, sort this out, and we will go with the verdict. Well, yes, this is this is a really good point, and. Liz Truss, being a very senior cabinet member, a potential successor to Boris Johnson, has said that she has full faith in the committee, that she thinks that these accusations are unfounded. Yeah. And now this this could be read as two ways. This is her supporting the prime minister <clears throat> or this is her supporting the outcome. Yeah. Or which she thinks it might be negative against Boris Johnson. And she doesn't want to be the one that was left holding the can as he's kicked out, which would ruin her chances to replace him. So it's, I would take with Liz Truss with a very big pinch of salt over all of this. But you are you are perfectly right to raise this. And um, it, we're keeping your eye on what the leadership contenders are doing over the next month or so, month, two months that this investigation goes on, uh, is going to be really important as to who's going to back, who's going to back the PM and who's not, to, no matter what the outcome is. Hey. Number 10 are pretty much gearing up for a fight here. I think they know that this is kind of, the survival, and I, I think this is the kind of the last ditch attempt 
yeah. uh, for many people are really to get rid of Boris. If he gets through this, oh, then he's, he's, he's pretty safe then. Yeah. Because it's really important that it's not about misleading Parliament, it's about knowingly misleading Parliament. That, it's that knowingly bit is so crucial. Because it, what it means is you were told that this was a bad idea yeah. and you you ignored it and you went ahead anyway. Yeah. And then you went into the House of Commons and you lied. Yeah, that's different. So that, 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 different. Yep. that is being called a liar by this committee will sink Boris Johnson. There's absolutely no question of it. Well, thank you so much again to Peter Barnes, our political editor. And thank you uh, guys um, for supporting the channel. I hope that made sense. So we're going to come back, uh, subscribe to the channel on my 2 and we are the media.